I love Mondays. Incredible day because it means the beginning of a brand new week and all new cool things going on with cars. And we're starting this week, uh, Monday being today. This is vlog 380. I am definitely wearing my dirt shirt today. I'm meeting up with my friend Jeff Jensen, who is the stuntman who you guys saw just a quick photo of in a couple vlogs back. We're gonna grab his Range Rover and we're also gonna grab a, a Polaris, which is an off-road buggy. And we're gonna go do some off-road. It's gonna be cool. And knowing Jeff, being a stuntman for, uh, you know, thousands of years uh, and an expert at it, we're bound to have a pretty good time. Still driving the Buick today. Tomorrow, a new car comes in. It's the GMC Denali, nice big fat truck. But for today, it's off-roading. Here's Jeff. Hey, How you morning. doing, buddy? Good, buddy. All right, I'm going to grab some coming. coffee. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm stoked. This is going to be great. Good. I hope. And you know what? I hardly ever have those blackout spells anymore. <laughs> so you'll be fine, right? Great. Good morning, man. Good, good morning. <laughs> this, is, this is the way to start a Monday. Absolutely. You got to get the adrenaline going. Yeah, 645. Got the Joe. Ready to go. Um, what are we doing? We're going to go out to beautiful downtown Acton, California, <laughs> to a famous old retired stuntman's house, Mickey Alzola. But we're going to park there, we're going to unload the Polaris, take your first spin. All right. <laughs> if you guys aren't familiar with this young man here, this is Jeff Jensen, who has been a stuntman for, I don't know, what, a couple hundred years? Yeah, since, yeah. since the olden days, since, yeah. since before talkies. Yeah, he was doing stunts on dinosaurs back in the day, with, with in his wooden underwear. And, um, I've literally done a stunt on a dinosaur. <laughs> you have? The Flintstones. <laughs> yeah. I doubled Fred sliding down the dinosaur tail in the opening of the... That's right. So go, go back and watch Flintstones. And on all the stunts uh, that Fred did and that were ridiculous, it was this man. No, but I had to do everything barefoot and in a dress. <laughs> You also, you also did uh, one of the Raiders movies. Yeah, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, double Sean Connery and I was a Nazi. Oh, nice. Cycle. Yeah, which is I always fun. Yeah, I think it's more fun to play a bad guy than it is. Well, I'm always the bad guy. Yeah, and, the, and actually the stunt guys and the guys that play the villains are always the nicest guys in Hollywood. Not too sure about the guys that are the stars. But I, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that one alone. Yeah. Uh, we're heading out to Acton. We're going past Vasquez Rocks, where they filmed uh, Flintstones. Yep, that was well, part of it. Part That's of it. where uh, yeah. Fred's house was. And we're taking this Polaris, which is back there. You guys can see it's following us at the moment. I can shoot. Dude, a, that's cool. I can shoot a movie with all the cameras on this car. <laughs> we're also driving in. What what year is this? The 2016. 2016 Range, Range Rover. Rover H S E. Turbo diesel. Nice. Jeff just picked this up and uh, we're going to shoot this for the Surfside News also. We're doing all kinds of stuff today and we're doing it all before noon. We're going to be I'll back by noon. by noon. Yeah. I think a tr truck exploded. Yeah. Or it snowed. <laughs> it snowed plastic. That's California snow. Yeah. <laughs> We should grab a couple. You never know. You should put it down when you sit in the car.
almost don't have words for what we just did. To be able to take this car and go out with a professional driver and uh, put your life in his hands and have as much fun as I just had. You have never done something like this. You have to make put this on your bucket list at least 12 times. I kid you not. This is the most fun you can have on four wheels. This is Mickey. Uh, he is a longtime stunt man and has done a lot of stuff with Jeff. And pra he's probably the reason that Jeff is is so good at what he because Jeff <laughs> doesn't, doesn't really know much. He doesn't really know much. <laughs> so Mickey pretty much it. taught him everything. So, <laughs> That's wrong. So That's tell wrong. me, tell me some some of the films that people would know know you for. Some of the well, films you've done. Well, Young Guns was one. Mm -hmm. Black Sunday was that? What, that was a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. What, yeah. what was your forte? Was is it driving? Is it jumping? What, what kind no, of no. stuff did you like? I wasn't much of a high fall guy. Thirty feet was the highest I wanted to go. Yeah. And uh, but I pretty much. Only thirty feet. make his catcher so high. Yeah. Yeah. yeah mine, mine is more around the three foot radius. <laughs> yeah. you know? But anyway, I was great at that. A few little fire burns, not a full fire. And uh, but I got involved with the motorcycle stuff. I guess yeah. some stuff and car stuff. You worked on the movie Evil Can Evil. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you got a sprint car in the garage. Yeah. Can we go check then that out? Then he raced at Pikes Peak. <laughs> yeah, I raced that in five years. See, guy got killed at Pikes Peak. They cut the bikes out. Yeah. And so... Uh, and you have a you have a record at Pikes Peak yeah, or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1994. Yeah. Open Amateur, first. <laughs> World record. Ah, no. That will never be broken. It can't be broken because... It, but six, seven years after I set the record, they eliminated that class. Yeah. So... Uh, Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Pikes Peak bike. This yeah. is the chain. My first time on Pikes Peak. Yeah, he I was going to race this. <laughs> and, and we started the first day of practice. You practice the top half of the hill, and the cars are on the bottom. Yeah. So you're starting at about 12,000 feet, going up to 14,000 feet. And this thing, I'm going along, and it's just like, oh, and I'm looking at birds. And I'm just like, <laughs> oh my God, drive me nuts. Well, they had a portable dyno in the pits. We put it on. It was putting out 12 horsepower <laughs> at 12,000 feet. And so I dropped out of that class and switched over to the ATK. There's the Pike Speed bike. That's awesome. Yeah. And that's a Trackmaster frame? No, it's a CNJ frame. CNJ frame. There's Jeff and Mickey. And look, there they are now. <laughs> <laughs> words do you have for uh, young stunt people that want to get into this stuff and stay in school well? get a business degree don't fall on your head for a living yeah yeah because it's not a question of when it's a question of how bad you will get hurt that's right that's right because you're being paid to sacrifice your body now your daughter is a stunt woman also she's well yes but i like to just, driver she's a professional driver okay she races cars professionally she works in the film business for valentine's day she did a speed dating spoof where she meets all these different guys and then they she takes a new mustang gt with the big motor in it the high horsepower that's online right yeah yeah i'll link that up here yeah so you guys can see that just pretty look, amazing just, just like look for ford speed dating and then there's a new show coming out with that ben affleck and matt damon are producing called the runner uh it's a reality show and the commercial for that this runner guy does that parkour stuff you know? yeah sure he's running and there's people chasing him and then he jumps off a billboard thing and lands in the back of a convertible that Preston is driving so much fun uh, it makes me want to buy one of those things but I'd rather just drive with you because it'll take me a hundred years to get up to where you are it's fun man you're an awesome passenger that was fun that was a I blast. could never do what you just did <laughs> I'm just glad the seat is clean. I didn't leave anything behind. You scared the hell out of me and I'm fearless. <laughs>
gotta go to the hardware store and pick up, without killing myself, pick up some spray, you know, those in the can that you spray air. Yeah, whatever, I'll show you. This camera got so dirty filming today. I need one of these. Clean it out. I love this place. It's kind of a combination hardware store, general store, all around everything store. All right, I have good news and I have bad news. What do you want first? Bring out the bad. The bad news is I did not buy you any candy in the hardware store. That's okay, I don't like your candy. Well, then that's not very bad news, is no. it? No. Uh, so that only leaves the good news, and that means we're going to the beach. Doggies. Ching. You guys want to go to the beach? Yeah, that's <laughs> what I thought. saw Jeff last week and he said, hey, we should go do this thing. And of course, I'm not gonna say no because I don't say no to pretty much anything. But what I didn't expect was, and, or didn't realize, is that you know when you get an invitation to go off-road, uh, you go and piddle around off-road and then the dirt and stuff like that. But when you, when you have a professional driver, someone who makes their living doing stunts and has done that for the past, he's a professional Baja racer, he is uh, committed to that exhilaration and that uh, extracting the most out of a, a situation like that. The point at which we were driving where I said, okay, well, if I'm gonna die doing this, then I'm, I'm gonna die happy because I just made a conscious decision in that moment to get in uh, with this and to have fun and to go as extreme as I possibly could with this, being a passenger. I'm so glad I did because there's very few things that scare me and uh, uh, this was an opportunity to just have a blast. I would recommend this to anyone. Not something that um, you can really explain other than it's just so incredibly exhilarating. Your adrenaline is flying, uh, you have this smile from ear to ear and your face is covered in dirt. So big thanks, Jeff. Uh, you made my day, I had a blast. Can't wait to do it again and other things. Although I'm not jumping out of any buildings and I'm not catching on fire, just not, you know. This is vlog 380 and we'll see you guys on the flip side.